Hello, hello, hello. I'm Janice and I hope you're all doing well. We are starting off this video with dinner, Japanese barbecue, the reason why you clicked on this video. And we are currently in Chatswood Place in their car park. So we are heading to Kuro Sakura, a restaurant in Chatswood Place that specializes in yakiniku. Japanese barbecue. Now I've been here once before with my siblings and we enjoyed it so much I decided to come back and feature it in a video. So today we're having all-you-can-eat Japanese barbecue. So they also do all-you-can-eat shabu shabu as well. Now I've never had that before but if you have let me know how it is. So yakiniku is a Japanese term that generally means grilled barbecue meat. Ingredients such as bite-sized meats and vegetables are typically placed on the griddle over a direct fire and then grilled. And there are typically sauces to dip your cooked meats into before you eat them. So on a weekday, I think between Monday to Wednesday, it's actually $45 all you can eat. And then uh, any other days, it's $50 per person all you can eat. You get 90 minutes sitting time and I think 60 minutes order time. Uh, we, are, we have started our ordering time, so I should stop speaking right now and uh, get, to, get to ordering. So essentially what you do is there's an iPad thing where you order items off and then there's a good variety of items to choose from. There's no sashimi though, it's mainly just meats. There is the Wagyu steak, Wagyu rib finger, Wagyu loin, pork belly, chicken cartilage, pork neck, and they've also got some vegetables as well, which we've ordered. So we've got like the salad, chicken wings and lotus chips. Oh, I need to order rice as well. Okay, first thing that I want to try in front of you, I know you're probably thinking, why are you eating leaves at a Japanese barbecue restaurant? But I just feel like because it's so hot, it's nice to have something like a little bit cooling. And I think the salad dressing that they use on these leaves are very delicious as well. All right, first piece of meat we're having is the Wagyu beef loin. And I've dipped it in a bit of like the ponzu sauce. I think we cooked it for a little bit too long. But other than that, other than that, I think it's pretty good. <laughs> oh my gosh, my friend is going to set this place on fire. I'm going to have to intervene. <laughs> Okay, we also have some miso soup. Miso soups at restaurant always taste better than when I try to make it myself. I don't know what it is. All right, we are gonna try the chicken cartilage. I think this is chicken cartilage. It's either that or the pork neck. <laughs> it's pork. Try this. Thank you. I really like the chicken cartilage. I like chicken cutlish in general because of the texture and the, the crunch to it but then I don't usually order chicken at barbecue because it just it's much easier to burn. This menu I wouldn't say it's incredibly extensive but it has things that I typically would want to eat at a barbecue restaurant so yeah I'm okay with it. All right we also got these chicken wings which last time we got them um, we all really liked it so here we are having this again. It's crispy on the outside, it's quite peppery as well, and it's got some sesame on top. It's just savoury but a little bit sweet. If you do come here, definitely give the chicken wings a go as well. Okay, now we're going to try the Wagyu steak. It came as a big piece of meat and then you grill it and then cut it up. This one's not bad as well, but I actually prefer the, the loin more than the, the steak. It's just easier to cook up and whatnot. I ordered some rice as well because I always feel like a meal, especially dinner, isn't complete if I don't have some rice. Okay, we have a Wagyu mince rice. So it's got some minced Wagyu beef. It's got some mayonnaise on top and some spring onions, some carrots, corn and peas. I like the Wagyu, but the rice is very... They've added too much water to it. It's not each individual grain, if you know what I'm talking about. Okay, now I'm going to try some butter corns. They just taste like corn with butter. I feel like this would be nicer if we could add some cheese to it. So it's like cheese and butter corn. Okay, we also got a potato salad, which on the menu it says limited quantity. 
This is very nice and refreshing. It reminds me of the potato salad that my mum makes. It's got egg, it's got corn, it's got mayonnaise, some cucumber, quite a bit of pepper as well. Okay, one other thing I really like are these lotus chips. It's really crunchy and they've added some salty, savory seasoning onto it as well. I think this would go great with beer or soft drinks. Okay, I am going to fully focus on finishing the rest of the food item that's on this table. We are done with ordering, so our 60 minutes is up in terms of ordering. We've got, I think, an extra 30 minutes to finish everything that we ordered. Okay, we are just done with dinner. That was $50 per person. I ate so much, I feel really, really full. But our receipt wasn't as long as the last time that I came here with my brother. That was, that receipt was like the, pretty much the length of his body. And so yeah, that concludes this part of the vlog, but that isn't it for this video. There's more I want to show you. So without further ado, let's head there right now. See, I say let's head there right now, but very obviously I didn't head there straight away. It is a new day, but what you're about to see in the next segment is a series of clips that I took when I checked out a restaurant in Sydney and tried out their banquet menu. It was absolutely delicious. So this is uh, Sydney's Chin Chin. All right, I am about to head to Chin Chin for my friend's birthday. I don't think I'm gonna be filming too much while I'm in there, but I'm gonna show you exactly what we order. So cue the montage now. All right, we are just done with lunch at Chin Chin. We got to choose one of three different types of banquet menus they had available. And honestly, I am so incredibly filled. I didn't think I was gonna be so full, but there is definitely more than enough food. And that was, that was really delicious. All right, we are back. I wanna finish this video off with one more place that I wanna visit. It is raining quite heavy outside. I think I have an umbrella. We are back in Eastwood again. Reason being, there is this place I want to show you. So I really wanted to tell you about Great War Tofu here in Eastwood. It specializes in, you guessed it, a range of different tofu products. Fresh tofu, fried tofu, tofu pudding, and soybean milk. Okay, so I think there is like a small spot where you can sit down to eat but I've opted to get this takeaway. So I'll see you when we get back and I'll show you everything that I've got. Not too many items, just three items. All right, we are back and I have a few things that I wanna show you. Essentially, I've got balfulfa, which is like a tofu pudding. I'm more used to having like a sweet tofu pudding, but the place that I went to, they do both sweet and savory. So I've got both just to try. Now this place that I went to, it's called Great Wall Tofu, but the shop itself, it's actually more like a hole in the wall where if you don't know what you're looking for, you might not see it. It's in between Australia Post and the butcher shop, but I'll put the details of the location in my description as well. So I have sweet, savory, and I've also got soy milk. This is my soy milk. I'm super excited to try actually. Now tofu pudding is a type of fresh uncurdled tofu that's really soft and really, really delicate. And the sweet version, you typically add like a ginger syrup to it and it's perfect as a dessert. You can have it either hot or cold. So typically during winter, I would have it hot. And then during summer, like a cold tofu pudding is absolutely delicious. Because it's so soft, typically when they serve it, they just kind of split it with a, with a ladle and then they, they layer it on into your container, which is what they did when I ordered my, my tofu pudding. Anyway, first bite of my sweet tofu pudding. Oh wow, this is delicious. The syrup is sweet and I can definitely taste a bit of the ginger 
taste, but it's not overwhelming. In terms of the sweetness, I don't find it overly sweet. I do wish that they offered um, like an extra side of the syrup just so that you can pour more on if your preference is for this to be more sweet. But in terms of the tofu, it is so soft. It is so silky. You don't really need to chew it at all. It just kind of like slips through. <laughs> There's more syrup at the bottom. So if you very gently sort of mix it just a little bit. I think it's just right for me. Okay, I'm about to try the savory tofu pudding. Now, I'm not as familiar with this one as I am with the sweet one, but when I saw her making it, she added some soy sauce, she added some spring onions, she added some when the container was half full, then she added more tofu pudding before sort of finishing the garnish off with more spring onions and coriander. All right, let's give this a go. This is a completely different experience to the sweet one. And I actually quite like it. So the soy sauce that this tofu pudding is immersed in, it's got like a braised flavor to it as well. And actually on top of all the spring onions, they also have something called zha choy, which is like a pickled Chinese plant, more specifically a type of pickled mustard plant stem. You also have the option to add chili oil to this, which I didn't add too much, but I think like the combination of the savoriness of the soy sauce, the pickled vegetables and the spring onions, this just works. And I think because the tofu pudding itself, the taste is quite subtle, it works well with both sweet and savory. So if you're in Eastwood, definitely check this place out. It's quite unassuming. And you know, if you're not looking for it, you might miss it. But if you like, like tofu and if you like tofu pudding, yeah, give this place a go. The last thing that we're trying is the soybean milk. Oops. Soybean milk's not bad. I think I would like it to be just a tad bit sweeter. My favorite is uh, the tofu pudding. All right, and that is pretty much it for this video. Thank you so much for watching till the end. I post new videos every week. Check them out if you have time. I hope you have an amazing rest of the week and I will see you in my next video. Bye.